I have scoliosis and I just recently had spinal fusion surgery. My spine was broken up and then fused together to be one solid piece. So this was her curve before the surgery. And you can see she had a fairly large curve. And so we did the instrumentation and this is where she is now, about three months out. These kids who have scoliosis and leg length discrepancy are usually long-term patients that come in for repeat imaging during their teenage years, every six months, sometimes even three months. I've had at least five to 10 x-rays in the past year. The more radiation that you get, the more likely you are to have injury to the various organs, which can lead to things like cancers in the long run. It's my whole torso, and I'm sure my legs and my head get in there sometimes. <laughs> and of course, between that, we have bone marrow, which we know as the most sensitive tissue for radiation. We always have to worry about the ovaries in these pubescent girls. Pediatric Orthopedics and Pediatric Imaging Sciences at Golisano Children's Hospital added a new imaging machine to its outpatient services earlier this year. The EOS machine is designed around the specific needs of pediatric orthopedic patients. It is the first in upstate New York. This has a hugely decreased load of radiation, and radiation is a big concern for us, especially treating children as they're going through their growth, all of the glands and everything which are developing, and trying to keep those radiation doses really low. It definitely helps me sleep better at night, knowing that the x-ray machine they use here is a low-dose radiation, just because I come in every couple weeks to get at least one. Because she had surgery, you have to get a lot of x-rays, which increases the dose of the radiation. And by decreasing that dose you know, 10, 20 fold, you've really decreased her lifetime load of radiation significantly. Madeline previously traveled from her home near Buffalo to Montreal for care. Until recently, that was the nearest EOS machine. Before my surgery, I was in constant pain every single day. And now after my surgery, I have a zero pain and I'm living a normal life again. Because the EOS machine's beam moves down the body as it scans, it produces images that are not distorted or magnified. When we do a conventional x-ray, the actual picture may not show the exact size of the structure in question. Now the magnification factor is virtually eliminated. The spine is really the spine as it really is because there is virtually no magnification. The machine is easy to get into and get out of for children, even in wheelchair, which makes the reproducibility of the images, the repeat visits that they have every X amount of months, make it very easy to reproduce and say, okay, the growth has actually been this much because the child was in the exact same position because that's what the machine ensures. And therefore, we can actually say it is now three centimeters instead of two centimeters or 20 degrees instead of 10 degrees, and it's actual. It is not something that we assume. Good job. It allows us to get pictures which are taken at right angles to each other at the same time. You can do some reconstructions with the computer and actually get it to generate three-dimensional pictures for you. A lot of our deformities are very complex, and this allows us to do some good assessments of the complex deformities. So it gives us very accurate measurements, and then the radiation dose being so low is just very, very attractive. It's very nice to have that peace of mind. It is just good for the patient. I mean, after all, that's what we do it for. For Golisano Children's Hospital at the University of Rochester Medical Center, I'm Heather Hare.